Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die Presents The Grimstone Chronicle Season 3, Episode 36. 36. I am your host, but not your DM. That sole responsibility for this chapter goes to Adam. I guess I shouldn't say sole. Like Mark, Mark did DM a few games, so uh, he did, so he I could did. go on the vacation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. How are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, no Mark tonight. Mark is uh, Mark is working. Wish him luck in the um, in uh, the proverbial salt mines, and uh, yeah, he'll watch. May, he'll may watch he later. make all of his reflex saves. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Exactly. <clears throat> uh, I we're having a the the. Easter Friday, had some noodles, ran the dogs. Um, I I helped my I got to feel manly helping my wife with some Excel foo that she needed done. <laughs> uh, gave her like What's the that? um the uh she's 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 looking she's looking around at gigs and there's a, a data analyst thing that they they asked her to do a um a test so I gave her some like here's here's some functions that'll be really helpful. <laughs> Let's <laughs> do some tutoring of like, you know, here's how we do a VLOOKUP, here's how we use concatenate, here's how we, we parse data, like here's how we do parsing. Yeah, like some conditional if statements or something like that. Yeah. Exactly. Here's yeah. how we do a nested if statement. Here's how we, you know, this is an efficient one, this is inefficient. <laughs> you know? I, 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 I spend most of my day in spreadsheets, so. <laughs> I, I, know, I know what you mean. My wife is, um, she's brilliant with finance. It's like a uh, financial analyst and i don't know it's just crazy stuff but i'm the guy that goes she goes to for excel so i'm like let me help you out <laughs> and i do this simple <laughs> thing right and she's like oh this is great and then she goes off and does who knows what, knows what. but i feel good for well this is the thing I, you know, i'm what? helpful <laughs> I, I, exactly because she's like that was more manly than when you lift the big weights so i'm like i'm pretty certain that's not manly <laughs> than when i lift the big mm. weights oh it is it's like all right whatever <laughs> nerd first i guess yeah. I, I, a bunch of reports there's always one person goes how'd you create that i'm like pivot tables <laughs> just go and learn how to do pivot tables see that button on the top left <laughs> that one yeah, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> transposes my friend yep you put your data in rows you savage <laughs> data belongs in columns what's wrong with you <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uncouth barbarian. Yeah. Uh... One of my favorite was, um, why aren't these two dividing? <laughs> Never heard that statement. Can't divide by zero. <laughs> makes makes me <everyone> look confused. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Adam does have a manly table with her. Uh, um, there's a table that describes his workouts. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got I, I oh I've got like the Excel table the Excel table that, how do I get eighteen or twenty strength or whatever how, how do you go from <laughs> you know a fifteen strength to a twenty strength right uh, and then I actually have a table which is like a hunk of tree that weighs like three hundred pounds that I eat oh, my dinner off of I see. <laughs> it is also a manly table because <laughs> it weighs like three hundred pounds and it's a bitch to flip over <laughs> all right we're 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 being funny now okay yeah. how are you guys yeah. doing what, what's what's new and exciting. Having dessert, which is great. Um, it's like this um, very fine pastry. It's drenched in like honeyed water and cream in the middle. And okay. it's warm and a little bit crunchy. Like soft. baklava, but without the pistachios. And some milk. Okay, that sounds like dessert. I gotta throw in as many calories as I can, man. <laughs> Yep. It's a good excuse to eat like an asshole. You'll, you'll, you'll pass out in half an hour and be awake. I don't know what you're talking about. And, and then three hours from now, you'll be awake. Okay. Uh... <laughs> awesome. Time that just right. Good. Job. <laughs> good. All right, I'll, I'll carry it. Uh, Adam, what's going on with you? I just... Uh, I, I'm feeling okay after the, the second judo. I did some workout yesterday that was good. Squats tomorrow are going to be less than stellar yep. <laughs> we'll see how it goes um yeah it's mostly just uh take a we had a day off today in canada so cool sleep in do this. oh actually i have a complaint um i downloaded the master chief collection because i got my steam account working on my computer again mm. um and it's been a long time since i played the original halo and the game design team where they're like 
Do you know where we're going to introduce the invisible one-hit kill enemies? We're going to do that in a tiny room where they come at you randomly from multiple directions. And when they up the graphics for, like, the remastered edition, invisible actually means invisible, where before invisible means a little bit hard to see. <laughs> so that room is ten times more of a bitch than it's supposed to be. <laughs> Just shoot. Constantly shoot in every direction. <laughs> but the first, Colonel, the first Halo you're surrounded. really slow reloads and really slow weapon switching. It's Halo 2 mm. where they sped that up. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's they also act- have that pistol, that sniper pistol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I've been playing that. It was like, gosh, this, uh, this room is more annoying than it should be. This wasn't balanced at all. <laughs> Oh, um, so I watch a lot of movies, and I don't talk about them all because they're not all that great. Um, but I did I did come across one that reminded me of The Thing, uh, uh, sort of a more Soviet... It, it would be like the Soviet Union version of The Thing, and it's called The Super Deep. <laughs> all one word, The Super Deep, like Super Deep in one word. Uh, and it, it was satisfying in the same way that The Thing was satisfying, uh, the movie from the 80s, The Thing. Uh, oh, there's a, a the thing that came out not too long ago, uh, 2011 or 12. That's when the remake of the thing. I, and I was talking to Adam about this uh, throughout the weekend. I it's actually, on my list. I don't remember. I remember watching it twice. I, I I I remember the original, which isn't the original. I remember the 80s version. I for some reason I can't conjure images from the 2000. The new one. It's because I I I, I watched like. <laughs> Since then, I've watched a thousand movies, so like I, yeah. I don't remember that that that, that one. prequel remake, whatever it is, is good for like monster effects. Everything yep. else is pretty mediocre yep. at best. Monster uh, effects are cool. So that was a cool one that you know, if you want some neat body horror and kind of an eighties feel, uh, watch that. Uh, I now understand your um, your Gemma quote. I have watched Ninja Scroll the movie. Uh, and I've got the series now. It's sitting beside me. I haven't watched it yet, but it'll it'll be Ninja watched. Ninja Scrolls. It, it'll be it'll be watched in the next uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, what what else? Uh, you're talking forward... about the anime, right? The anime, yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, it's a great movie. Uh, and then, um... oh, looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow's not a game day because I'm taking the uh, uh, the Seattle crew out to a Kraken game, uh, and we're we're also gonna drink and be merry and hang out in person which we haven't done like you know i've never met max in person i worked with him for two years he's played game with us for two years i've never like shook his hand and seen him i know that he's a stinky boy oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. uh, uh, yeah. anyway fine <laughs> anyway so uh in preparation for this i made a bunch of my infusions so i've got um uh, vodka, pineapple, uh, mint, basil, going. I've got some strawberry, vanilla, vodka infusion going, and then the new one this time, which I took a I took a little sip of, and is basically an ingredient. You cannot you cannot do shots of this one. It is vodka, habanero uh, pepper, uh, jalapeno pepper, and garlic. And that is going to be uh, Vampires, go fuck yourselves. an ingredient for some Bloody Marys, basically. It's going to be tomato <laughs> juice with, with vodka and, and garlic and habanero. It's going to be amazing. So I would try that amazing. as a sipping drink. Uh, um, I oh. think I made the garlic a little bit too strong. So like, <laughs> I, I took a sip of it. I went, that's spicy. The spice was nice, but my gag reflex. So I'm like, nope, that's way too much garlic. <laughs> this is not shot worthy. This is this is now an ingredient. So uh, The... T- uh, the, the uh, um, Jalapeno tequila was really, really good. I, I have a little that. bit of the jalapeno tequila left over. It actually kept, uh, like I made it in October, and I had it last month, and it's still fine. So we will finish that off. And then I have a little bit of uh, blueberry vodka that actually is kind of nice. It's a, It turns out really pink, though. You want a really pink drink. <laughs> this, this, is, this is the thing. Uh, so this is uh, this is a thing that I started over the summer back in Canada. I'm like, I'm going to learn how to mix drinks. And then the first chapter of the mixology book I bought was called Infusions. And we've never gotten past Infusions because, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, look into it if, you're, if you like that sort of thing. Do not put pitted things or seeds in your infusions. You will poison yourself. That is, that is the... 
<laughs> there, there are bad things in seeds and pits. You will create poison. Don't do that. You know, do reading before you do a thing. It's just an an expert. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and You're not it, the experts. No. No, we're not the experts. Mm. In general, anything with a seed shouldn't go inside of alcohol. You shouldn't do that. Pick them out. Yes, picking out jalapeno seeds is annoying, but just, just, just do it. Thank me later. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do a recap. What happened last time? What happened last time? Uh, let's go back to you, games. Pengizu. Yeah, because last time it was just the fighting continued. <laughs> when was the last time we played it? It's so foggy for me. Uh, <laughs> we checked in the general before teleporting to the mysterious goblin uh, dig near Fort Craig. The planner fungus made the party's teleports unreliable at best. The Steel Rose squad encounters hostile humanoids deep underground along with the intelligent bird-like beasts. And in the last game, the Steel Rose squad raids the mysterious uh, dig site. Tangling with a motley band of Morlocks and Grimlocks led by the simulacra of a Nagaji magic user. They discover a mining operation that is digging up a strange substance that carries a blight curse. Mort makes an offering to his fell patron of wealth and disease. And I think we left off the combat, or we took out the Nagaji and we've got some things to explore, maybe? Yeah, uh, we don't need to go round by round. Uh... What about Mog and uh, Sulfur upstairs? Uh... Mog and Sulfur upstairs are busy up until they just, it's like two fireballs later, those are destroyed. Like okay. Uh, or if they go through the wall of fire, they might. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll take off one sul one fireball from Sulfur and we'll call that a... And then I've got a note here, Detect Scry was going off. So when Chaga arrived, uh, he's the character that's got Detect Scrying up. Yep. Um, so, so does the Sod. Oh, I get, okay. So... Chaga arrived shortly before Desaad, and then Desaad and Didi arrived. So was there a okay. thing or some rules no. or? Yeah, yeah, let's let's just quickly take a peek here. Uh... All right. Um... One quick sec, sorry. Just meeting. Okay. Um, so what here, uh, Marty, mm. if you could take a peruse at the text grind, um, if you expend two uses of mythic power, even mind blank won't prevent you from detecting the scrying creature. Uh, so I believe you detect the sensor, uh, and then we can roll post cash level checks, but you don't, we, we can just hand wave that as you do not see or sense their location. You just know there was a scry. Because I don't believe that, but I believe that the scrying sensor you still detect, because that is separate from the creature. There's not, it is a, 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 like a physical spell effect that you could like destroy if you wanted. I don't think mind blank prevents detect scrying from detecting that you're scrying on someone. It just prevents them from seeing you with the second part yeah. of the spell. Yeah, it's it's huh. the it's the caster level checks that allow you to get a vision of the scryer. Yeah, that so, part gets blocked. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yes, uh, there was a scrying sensor in the room. Is it still there, or is it? It it dissipates about twelve seconds after the destruction of Zenthera. Okay. So it it caught the guys who did that, and Chaga Chaga was probably seen. Oh, uh, there was a scrying sensor here a moment ago. Someone got a good look at us. Can they see us now? What? They all they all probably just got a big look at you, Chaga. You sort of block the view of all the rest of us. Well, as far as you do. Can... <laughs> And you <laughs> we're not all as big as Chaga. <sighs> That's also true. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you all right there, big guy? Yes, uh, the scrying spell is is gone. Uh, but someone caught a glimpse of us. That's for sure. Hmm. Um, yeah. Simulacra. Hmm. 
will gather up its things. Is that what the icy boy is? And I'll grab some blood. Chug is going to grab some of the blood before uh, our greedy doppelganger eats it all. <laughs> okay. Um, now, there is only a small amount of blood in the production of one of these things. Okay. So, yes. Um, most of the okay. red is actually ruby dust that is used in the creation. Um, all right. Well, I think we're just going to bag all the ice chunks and we can melt them later. Okay. All right. You're oh. collecting up the... Yep. Yeah, get, keep, keep a little bit of blood from me there. Yes. <laughs> uh, for research purposes. Uh, yeah, we can also cast Blood Biography on him, uh, and we'll be able to figure out who he is and what's going on. What's this place? Oh, he was he was casting some mumbo-jumbo in here. I'm not sure what he was doing. Can we tell mm. from any of the artifacts or things in the room about what this guy was doing? Um, uh, so, uh, let me, one second. Um. This side goes back to Blue Dragon, by the way. This room, um, uh, 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 sections are plated with brass lining work stone. Um, there are, is an earthen platform, uh, which rises four feet above in the center of the floor. The eastern wall is crude depictions of a snake-like figure. Um, uh, uh, coiled over a, a mass of deformed humans um, or humanoids. Um, it appears to be a similar style to what Didi saw upstairs in the Bloody Cave painting area. Um, and Didi suspects that the snake-like being might be this creature um, or something similar. Um, huh. Maybe this there are many um like uh bits and bobs that look like the morlocks were giving tribute um uh there's a uh, a, a pile of like small bones like pieces of jewelry shiny rocks uh and then there was a a, a large chest full of goods that is now got a um uh a much less in them as you can already do them <laughs> previously when he was here <laughs> oh yeah there's a big chest over there it's empty now <laughs> i remember that one <laughs> all right we'll gather up what we can what we think is valuable we'll do a quick search with uh uh the tech magic okay uh, the brass plates that line the room <clears throat> look like they have um some serious value and then there's a pair of ivory dwarves um one with three eyes um that also look valuable how big are they uh they'd be like three feet tall okay uh fit into some of our bigger bags of holding or stick them on capra or maybe Dasad. Yeah. Uh, and then the uh, the brass plates are a hundred pounds each. Uh, they're worth about one hundred fifty gold pieces. I don't know if that's within the scope of what you bag of holding type do. I th um, I think we'll put the brass plates off to the side for a moment, and when we have time, we'll clear this clear this place out. Hmm. There's a thing we could tie on to Mort, and make Mort earrings, pack mule this stuff later. Um, Adam, is this dirt or is this solid rock? the which i ask because blue dragons have burrow and i'm trying to wonder what this surrounding oh this is this is rock it's all rock okay yeah you, you would want an earth elemental chaga is going to burn a couple of channels to heal grippa and los okay give me a perception check from the zone it's all good oh zogel uh he would have uh caught up to these guys this is a poison cloud. Yeah, we wanted to leave someone out here to to keep keep an eye out. We still have right. we still have three of our companions in the dungeon somewhere. So Shh, cool. You want a perception check from Zoga? One moment. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Um, 
All right. Uh, do you have life bubble up on Zogel? Yeah. Uh, should be redistributed it out. Let me check. Okay. Um, yeah, Zogel, Zogel yeah you, you should you should have life bubble. Zogel yeah, life bubble is up. Uh, for the creatures with regen, just give them ten rounds of regen. Ten. Sweet. All right, Chaga's going to use three. Lois is still injured. Um, okay, uh, within the gear of, of this person, you do find a, okay, so, um, there are bits of a journal in here, um, and there's a sketch, um, Give me a linguistics check or knowledge history to try to sort of piece together these like they're, they're, they're like bits of uh, bits and fragments. Dee Dee's interested linguistics in, in drawings. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. uh, they, uh, yeah. Actually, draw a craft drawing would be would be would be useful as well. So, so I'll give you linguistics. Do goggles of uh, thirty four from Desad? Thirty nine from. Uh, same goggles of spectacles of understanding. Does this help at all? I think it's for forgeries. It's not actually for. Uh, Sorry, uh, four, forty-one with good hope. Uh, okay. Mm -mm. Right. Um, it oh. looks like there's a description of a a material. And this really hard black edge um, that's shown. Uh, you can see bits of like um, somebody's trying to like gauge the size of something. Um, in the notes, uh, give me a second. Let me, let me grab the uh, this map. The sketch is uh, oh, oh, that one. Sketch appears to be of a hammer. It looks like it. It's it's filled in with like this like obsidian question mark. Is is this the hammer that we're supposed to get from Fort Craig? Uh, it might be. It does appear to be a mole. So they've got a sketch of that in the journal. You got a sketch of that. Well, the journal was already taken, so it's all the bits of papers and extra notes that. <laughs> Um, that that are in here, um, in the sketch, you do see like this little doodle in the margin where they're putting like, uh, they they're like, they try to put like a scale on it, and the scale would show that is the hammer like forty feet tall, eighty feet tall, basically yeah. like a a person would be like coming up sort of like up to like halfway up just the head of the hammer um question mark this is the hammer perhaps that we need a dwarf to lift hopefully it resizes <laughs> um speaking of which sod <laughs> turns into a dwarf yeah Desa what you need captain Desaad, do you could you are you capable of turning into a dwarf uh i'm pretty sure i've got dwarf in here give me a minute a specific one. I know you turn into yeah, dwarf beard. He turns. You can take the form of dwarf beard or any dwarf. He's just a general dwarf. There you go. I need to give you a dwarf uh, image. Was that uh, that? How did the linguistics go? Thirty-six with uh, good hope. Okay. Um, there is a note. Uh, there's a bit in there. It was in like broken dwarvish, like an undercommon, saying the word Galthane. Question mark. And there's a, a, a name Galthane is uh, is spelled out here. Hmm. Need anything, to anybody? In undercommon, it's like they have this really, really rude word for saint that is put beside it, like. <laughs> like like a very irreverent way of saying saint. 
Um, no. He's not very liked uh, for by these guys, but apparently some kind of saint. Well, anybody? Dee Dee, you yeah, ring a bell. Uh, I don't know. She's gonna. From a religious perspective, 31. From a historical perspective, sorry, 33. And a historical perspective, it would be 27. Okay, from from a religious perspective? Yeah. Um, I have a perfect Assad dwarf. <laughs> Gulfane is dwarvish hero of Volcanica. Um, he is slash was a champion of like the dwarvish peoples uh, and participated in the conquest um the I'm having a stupid uh, here it is um he was a like a paladin chosen of Gorm and do you think he's got something to do with the founding of Fort Crag? Also, the notes also describe this valley that you're in as this Hammerfall Valley. Um, huh. Maybe a hammer fell here? Like somebody dropped a hammer and that's how they named the place? Maybe. It can't be that straightforward. Mm. Although they are dwarves, they're not very creative. <laughs> dwarves really like hammers. And if this is yeah. the scale, whoa, it's a big one. They are really serious about their carving. <laughs> what the hell are you going to do? Who can pick up a hammer that big? A uh, really big guy. Oh, it's, it's, it's a chaga hammer then. <laughs> <laughs> And Capper's like, hey, 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 hey. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. They, they do kind of get old, don't they? <laughs> yes, well, I'm not Titan in size. Yeah. Yeah, like, the hammer is even too big for giants. Maybe only the biggest of big giants, which are Titans, I think. Yeah. Uh, with the way Dee Dee's describing it, Crackle, this would be, like, the kind of weapon that war with the capital W would be able to wield. So, is this thing buried here, or is it at Fort Craig? Well, um, um, what's his name? Uh, big guy in the closet. Vigil. Vigil. Uh, <laughs> big guy in the closet. Vigil. <laughs> uh, uh, Vigil said that Fort Craig is where the hammer should be, and that we need a dwarf to move it. Oh. Well, we got to sign. He's... All things. Yeah. All things to I'll nobody. Go to Take care of it for you. All things to nobody. I gotta hurt my feelings like that, Dee Dee. Well, you, you're supposed to be lying low. <laughs> uh, is the scrying still going off? No, no. It, no, it, it dissipated. Uh, we uh, wouldn't be uh, having this conversation here if... if the... <laughs> like... <laughs> Some of, some of it is also being had in the telepathic bond, but others it's not. Okay, in that in that ten rounds, Los and Grippa are all healed from Chaga. He used three channels and a a single charge from a wand, and Los is completely healed. Okay. Moga's healed. Sulfur is healed. The there the the screaming has stopped as the maggot swarms have just barely made their way through the uh, uh, through the flames before getting roasted by yeah. fireballs. In, in ten rounds, those spells are gone because we weren't concentrating on the walls of fire, and I believe that wall of force is gone. Yeah. I don't know if Mort has finished moidering the uh, the Morlocks yet. Or... Mort described what he was doing. Until you go find him, he's abusing himself and collecting up disease stones Okay. and putting them in the pot. What does Sulfur and Mog end up doing? Do they jump down the waterfall after us, or do they go hunting after these little guys? Or I think they in... <laughs> Sulfur doesn't really want to jump down the waterfall. But... <laughs> Mom, Mom, go pick him up. And go <laughs> I think Mog Ma 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 DDTs him the top ropes down the waterfall. <laughs> All right, so they end up splashing in the water. 
<laughs> Mog, Mog lets Sulphur go and playfully slaps some water towards him. Ho ho ho, fire burns. <laughs> <laughs> grumbles he doesn't like being soggy <laughs> yep this thing probably died from that its... thing died from its bleed damage yep yeah nobody came to the rescue of the giant bug uh, all right so they make some noise and probably alert zogel uh by the time they wander over okay and... uh give me a perception check for moog sulfur and zogel i got or it. just do a, it's a party another one check. yeah no i'll, I'll just do a party check grimstone chronicles south boop 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 Oh, for Zogel. Moog. Um, is Moog in the light bulb? He is. Okay. Um, Moog does see that there are, like, claw marks on these walls, and it does look like things travel up and down here frequently. Oh, um, he, it he, looks like the path of the path that is used is like this. Oh, very few things go this way. Very few things come this way. He he sticks his finger up. He shushes the two of them, and he points. He points down. We haven't been below here, right? Nope. Nope. Uh, and if we go to uh, the side view real quick, um, you are on. Uh, you Oh, one group teleported to G1, one group teleported to G6, and then we... we one group teleported over... here, the other two group teleported here, and you've now made your way down here. I see. And we haven't found this place. Uh, you, you've been in this place. Okay. This is... These are two different rooms. They're, they're, well, uh, sorry, you haven't actually found this place. This is where those, the, uh, those mega swarms came from, but they were, they were upstairs. I, I got you. Okay. Uh, now, there, you suspect that there might be more stuff below. Hmm. Uh, as you do see the path, the passageway. There's uh, Dasad's dwarf at the bottom of his uh, identity sheets. Nice. Rockward. Let me, let me grab that. Dasad. Holy tokens. <laughs> I like to be prepared. <laughs> Is this a unique identity? No, it's just a standard dwarf. It's just random ass dwarf kit. Yeah. Mr. Dwarf. He comes out different every time a little bit. <laughs> oh. I don't know if you've got a stack somewhere. I'll 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 yeah, I'll, I'll move it. Okay. <laughs> I'll get that. It's exactly how I thought this character would turn out. It just I I mean I need thirty tokens to play my one character. Why? Because I can. Yep. So, uh... Ah! Hammer, huh? Oh, yes. If not, we'll have to rescue one of the regular dwarves and get them to help us out. Uh, there's likely dwarves that are... I'm good enough. Craig. Put me in, Captain. Yeah, but we don't need you here. We're not at Fort Craig. Well, unless the hammer's here. Although, Vigil... It's possible Vigil's intelligence wasn't great. But I got the sense that he knew about such things. Are you calling him a dummy? I... No. <laughs> I... It's possibly very intelligent to not know certain things. But Mo said he called you a dummy. What? <laughs> Chuck is very smart. Right. So, um... Leave him be. <laughs> Capra is one of those like throwing stones in glass houses. <laughs> yep. I mean, Chug is smarter than average. <laughs> yeah. Capra is a twelve. Yeah, I'm a bard. <laughs> this one's a smart one in the group. All right. Um, do we have? Have we gathered up everything here? This place is this place is trash, though. Let's go. Let's go check out that door. There are several hundreds, pound, hundreds of pounds of bronze plates that are uh, uh, to be looted. Six hundred pounds of bronze. And we don't know what they're for. Uh, it looks like artistry. Ah, okay. Well, we'll come back for that. 
Uh, is this trap still going? Uh, I was just checking. How long will this one go? Uh, it, it, after uh, about a minute, it goes away. Okay, so, uh, so it by took the time uh, that... 90 seconds to go away. So yes, it is, it is gone. Okay. Uh, we'll send Los out looking for the trap along with uh, Dugan to see if the trap resets. Okay. Uh, it does not reset. All right. Uh, Los will poke around in the walls here just to see if he can... Uh, when Dugan entered that space, a second trap did go off and a wall of stone formed here. Dugan does have trap sense, so I don't know if um, if he would have had a chance to check that it out. Give us a roll. Give us a roll. Trap finding for Dugan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me just double check. He His rogue talents are... Trap spotter. Where are his rogue talents? Fuck, where? Where did you put them? Rogue talents. Trap spotting. He's at it since second level. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going crazy. Um, okay, so Dugan, when actually ex examining this other, oh, come on, this side of the door, is concerned actually that opening this door might actually set off the trap. Okay. Like, uh, it, not not disabling it. There, there should be then Los there. will go out to disable it from this side. Okay. DC 31. Uh, first, he needs to find it. DC 31. And his perception versus traps is the same as his perception. He rolls a 1, he gets 44. Yep, there's 40, a 45. And then his disable isn't as good. DC what? Thirty one. Thirty one. Okay, you got a thirty three. Okay, yeah, you you disable the wall of stone trap. Okay, I'm just gonna put a reminder up by the things we killed. Traps times two. Yep, there was an acid fog in a wall of stone. <clears throat> All right, then he'll. Uh, sorry, it, it's well, it's traps times three, uh, as well as the um, the transmute rock to mud. Okay, sure. Yeah, the the, the thing that <laughs> just bog face tagging the cave in. Uh, yeah, Los will let him know that it's safe to come out, and then he'll the two of them will continue sifting around. We're gonna have a better look at this door. Okay. Uh, yes, this is a very well-carved door. It's got some, uh, tarnished bronze, uh, in, like, uh, around the corners of it. Uh, the stone itself has no room. It looks like it's sort of, uh, almost like it's carved into the wall. Uh, it has a, a somewhat defaced, uh, picture of, or carving of a, of two dwarves with crossed axes on the front. One of the dwarves has three eyes. Um, in this room, uh, this would be what Zogel's kind of kicking in the corner. Uh, there's a, a stone suit of plate, like stone plate, um, that appears to be magical and some, um, in this room. Yes, uh, as well as some jars of magical paint. All right, those have probably been collected. Yeah. Uh, Los. All right, trap finding on the door. Uh, Dugan, with Los helping. A plus 43. Okay. Uh, 46 on the trap finding. Uh, you don't see any traps per se. Um, you don't see any obvious way to open it though. Okay, we'll start searching for a keyhole or a, a way to open. Okay. Um, Give me a disable device check. Okay, Los will auto aid with Good Hope. 
Dugan's Dugan's disabled device is 60. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Grackle, so, Grackle can help you as well. So, 62 with Grackle's help. <laughs> this is a, like, the door itself is like living stone. Um, where it, it like it would open and then it would like reform in place uh, after time or that sort of thing. You think you could physically push it open? Um, you think you could destroy it with a spell and it would regrow over time? Um, alternately, you could try to like use magic device the door. Yeah, I was gonna say I think we're gonna try to trick the door. Um, does do we do we get a sense? Is it transmutation magic? Oh, somebody say drink the door, eh? <laughs> Sod gives you oh, wait a, two. Wait a minute. Well, well, where was the stone plate? Stone plate was over here. Dugan's going to go and fetch a gauntlet of the stone plate and then okay. telekinetically have it touch the door. Okay. The door opens. Oh, that's right. Sometimes the laziness of the enemies. <laughs> I just left the key over there. Okay. Um, there is a very long hall that goes off into, well, down and forward. Hey, Grackle, since you got a body and uh, you're already possessed kind of by somebody, could you go and grab the other gauntlet just in case? It's a very good idea. Just going to go and grab gauntlet. Dugan will telekinetically have the gauntlet continue to be in front of him, but he's he's basically... Does it end, or I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it, it's it, it goes into Mindscape. <laughs> oh, it's very long. It's it's very long. Yep. Where do we think this leads? I don't know. We have down below us as well. There's evidence of creatures down there. Does That's what Zogel says? Los go back into the urn when he crosses the threshold. Is this a uh, an extra dimensional spot space, or is he able to enter? Uh, when you, uh, Los can't, Los, Los, sorry, Los does not, is not able to enter. Okay. Dugan crosses without issue. Uh, I can't go in there. Fear is something that we all fight to in, Los. All right, all right, I'll go have a look. Uh, <laughs> Los, you... <laughs> <laughs> Get in, you go across. All right, he'll go into the urn and then wait for Grackle to cross. You, you, you're not going alone, uh, Dugan. Oh, uh, Grippa. Fine. I've been here alone all by myself before. Yes. Uh, Grippa will go back into the, the urn. Good. Okay. We have your back. Give me a knowledge dungeoneering. You can come out now, Los. Can Los come out? Uh, when you cross, yes, Los can come out. Okay. Yeah, I think this is some sort of dimensional barrier. Interesting. It's okay, Grip, but you can stay in there for now. Dungeoneering? Yep. Scrackle will give you one of these puppies. It's a mighty six. 26! Oh, Dugan's gonna aid. He aids. Oh, that should be plus two, but there it is. Yep, he aids. 26, right. 28, uh, good hope, 30. 30, okay. Uh, you are in a, a old tunnel that you know that different races like live within Volcanica, dark and evil races. Okay. Like uh, uh, various underground-born races that don't see the sun. They live in darkness. Um, right. You are on or in one of their highways, effectively. Like, this is a the on route to a interconnected network below the, the surface of Volcanica. This um, path will take us a long way to somewhere else. Not by goodly creatures at all. This is not the right path for us, Deacon. Yes. Oh, it's a fucking underdark under here. 
it goes to it connects to different paths where many other creatures of the the darkness dwell you, you suspect that there likely is a passage from here to like the interior of Fort Craig as there this like there's obviously dwarvish motifs here and that is a dwarvish stronghold that's only 15 miles away you, that should be a way to get there if, if one wanted to no. um, now how you would do such a thing and not get lost is a different question alright so we take up our party and we plow into the underdark never to be seen again until we're 20th level right and then I go <laughs> Marty DM stick <laughs> gotcha. damn it <laughs> my bluff was called <laughs> The DM deck of cards that goes to you. Here you go. And then all of a sudden we're running night below. It's weird. Uh... <laughs> that might be a fun adventure to run. Anyways. Hunter Dark's always a fun adventure. It's just really hard on timelines. <laughs> Didn't that happen to you in one of your campaigns? Where uh, Albert, you were in that campaign. You and you in LA. And uh, they just like... Nope. You kept on hinting that this is not the way to go. And they kept oh yeah, on we kept, like, there's a there's a crack that goes down this way. And <laughs> I had an adventure we squeeze plan through. We have a with, bear like, with a little you. elvish squeeze city it. and whatever. And they went no, they went under dark. And it was like <laughs> the gray render. It's like we're third level gray render. And we're gonna fight the gray render. It's just, okay. <laughs> I, think, I think that was our second campaign, though. To be fair, uh, that's funny. <laughs> it, we're not fucking. Pit. We're not going to the fucking Underdark. There's crazy things out there like to eat Fae. I, yeah, I'm, I'm well, imagining there's a bunch of Fae stories about Fae don't go underground. They do not dig the Underdark. Do not don't, dig don't the underground. underground. No, it, it's, but... it's, it, it, to the Fae, it is the... Um, it'd be like the antithesis. Like It'd be something that would unite all Fae as in the things that are below the crust are not not of Fae. Fae not. This place probably goes to Fort Craig, but we also know where Fort Craig is. It's on our map, but we can fucking fly there. That is true. Uh, does anybody in that forward group have survival? Uh, not grapple. Uh, not Dugan and not Los. I've got a good stealth. Use Perfect. magic device. You can hide and wander around. <laughs> Great perceptions, though. These guys are, you know... <laughs> you, you are the random encounter in the Underdark? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> Zod's, Zod's leads over. Hey, dipshits, where are you, where are you going? Yeah, they, they went down. Can, yeah, the, I just realized can the voice it, travel? It just kept on going. After, after about a minute, the door, which melted away, is mm -hmm. reforming. Uh, is there another uh, Is there another uh, gauntlet here? Uh, Grackle's got one and Dugan's got one, so no. Is, is there another gauntlet here? No? Dug, 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 dug. Well, we could, try, right. we could try the helmet. I'm oh. <laughs> all shooting everyone and pointing down. <laughs> all right. <laughs> the sun's still going. Didi's quietly, sound, quietly wondering, that... quietly wondering to herself what, what Mort's up to. Uh, Marty, hmm. controlling Moog, uh, roll a d6, please. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Continue. Continue on as you were. Uh, does the door open with the helmet or other pieces of the stone plate, or is it just the gauntlets? Uh, the stone plate does, is able to open the door. Okay. Uh, effectively, you get. Two gauntlets, a helm, and a chest piece. Right? Like it's, it's it's four keys to the door. Yep. Uh, I think when the door started closing, that was the cue for Dugan Schmurf to start heading back. Uh, and then Chaga Also being the one guy who can't see in darkness naturally. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't bring any light casting guys with you. <laughs> I don't know if Los learned that spell. He's a ghost. Dugan's got dark vision. Oh, he does? Oh, cool. Yeah, he's, he's we're got all, some... We're all good. The only one is uh, 
Zashada. I forget if it's. I thought Dugan had to cast a light last time he was in this place. He was, he was wandering around here as a, as a weird, like, light bulb fairy floating around. I've got dark vision 60 feet by his senses. I don't know where he got it. Okay. Uh, it is a see in the dark trait that he that he took. See in the dark, yeah. In addition to my okay, life, it was because he went through an adventure where you had to, to be have a light on him, and everybody was like looking at the weird torch. He was a fairy light <laughs> coming through. Okay. Interesting. You may not have saw it on his sheet or something. Anyways, okay. Uh, yeah, we go back. We'll close it. We're going to take the stone plate because screw these people. Uh, if they want to go back into the Underdark, they're going to have to break their magic door, I guess. Okay, that was creepy. Um, I think we're going to check out this tunnel. And we're going to send Sneaky Los in to check first, and I guess Dugan. What uh, what are their bonuses on perception? Just uh, Los has got a plus forty two, and Dugan has a Dugan has a plus thirty one with a bunch of conditions. Um, uh, okay, they're they're both high enough. Uh, when Dugan's is in, is forty one versus traps, though it's pretty. Okay, I'm moving you over to G twenty two. You see some caves filled with fungus. Um, there is a bit of a glow here, so people without uh, dark seeing can actually... Do, do we see the fungus creatures with arms and legs? <laughs> uh, yes, you do, actually. You, both, you see them. They're sitting really still. They're, they're not, like, reacting to you hiding as, you, as you're moving down, but yeah. there are, yes, there are fungal creatures in these in these. Dugan and the telepathic bond. What the fuck are these? Uh, don't know. They look squishy, though. They're the very big. They're very heavy. They look somewhat slow or lumbering. Uh, they're very sneaky. Uh, they're DC 30 to see. You want... I should take them out? Eh, good thing we got life bubble. They're... They're, they're just sitting there. Zod reloads his guns. They're they're not moving. They don't look like breathing, but you can see like this congealed fungus. What is this form. yellow stuff? Is this the fungus that they're is, hiding? That in? is the the fungus with with in which they live. It looks like they might farm from this. Hmm. Interesting. Um, the um, fungi covers the walls of this chamber. Some of them oddly putrescent with a violet glow. How far um, down the tunnel to get to this area? Oh, it was... Uh, second, I believe it's 40 feet down. Let me get my measuring stick out. Yeah, it's 40 feet down. Okay. Uh, Los is going to wave to Dugan. The two of them are also stealthing, right? So they're going to go back. Uh, about 40 feet down, there's some fungus things that Gets pretty tight down there. I want <laughs> sulfur's wandering over to the edge. <laughs> I wonder if uh, if I should go take a look beyond that just to see what happens. We make if we're gonna make some noise. I want to know what what we're attracting. Do you need me to travel in a direction so that you stay within the range? Yeah, if you could uh, sneak down until you see the fungus things. Los describes where he saw them. And... He also, I could also para, move above here. Which direction does it open to? To decide points, uh, Grackle points, like this direction, this direction, this direction. Like he could just tunnel, stay above like, you by 40 tunnel, feet. The tunnel's like a U? The, the tunnel the tunnel actually goes straight down. Straight. Oh, straight down. Yeah. It's like a pit. Okay. Uh, yeah. So shaft. instead of going a down... shaft, can, if you will. Um. Mm. Yeah, I I think if you just sneak down to here, Los could go and have a look. One hundred and thirty feet is sure. Uh, and I, I I think with uh, following the detect magic rules is what the Heather follows. So there's probably too much stone to start not cutting. Like you have to make a U for the hmm. the leash distance. 
Yeah, Lowe's can only, as an incorporeal creature, go through five feet of stone. So, so that should be too much for his tether. All right, so yeah, let's get Grackle to sneak down. Uh, Dugan will sneak <laughs> down with him. Dugan will be invisible. If uh, Good Hope is running, 58 stealth. 58 stealth. Okay, uh, yeah, you, you, you sneak down. What, uh, what is your base perception? My base perception is 16. 16? Uh, just roll your perception check, because you may not see the things. You, gotcha. you They were pointed out to you, but... Uh, twenty. You, you don't. You don't see them. You. You trust even with the plus four from somebody pointing at it. You. Uh, good hope. You, twenty four. Twenty eight. With good hope. You just trust the. Trust the ghost and the little blue okay. guy. Los L- Los indicates just sort of wait here, and he's going to go into the wall and start stealthing. Start stealthing down. Okay. Through the wall. He can see five feet out. So. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. That's a pretty tight squeeze, isn't it? Yep. Can medium creatures get through here? A squeeze for mediums. Huh. It's nice for small. Good good luck, Chaga. <laughs> okay. We'll keep going. Okay. And, uh... Bit of a maze. Okay. Close. Oh, we found a little There's sickness. a big old busy Billy Boy room of a Ooh. bunch of people Ooh, getting we... <laughs> ready for uh, getting ready for a shindiggy there. Do you have seen visibility up? Uh Los does, yeah. There's some big odie looking people what? in this room. Oh, They've got yeah. spells blazing, they've got weapons out, it looks like they're readying <laughs> Uh this is Kick this our is, ass. This is this, this is they're trying to kick somebody's ass. All right. Do you need a stealth from Los? I do. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, and tell Father Pun, that's a lot of. Okay. That's a. To you. That's a lot of underdark assholes down here. Let me just let me just get a count here. Four big guys, two big ladies with bows. Some sort of fiendish lady, a bunch of the sneakers, and a bunch of the Grimlocks. Huh. What are they doing? Uh, it, it looks like they are in defensive positions. You can see some of them making motions to be quiet. Um, it looks like they're waiting in ambush. Looks like they, they, they know we're here. Uh oh, yeah. Some of the ones in the back look like they might be in charge. Close is guessing this one's in charge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's probably a pretty good guess. Uh, the 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 ones with the bows um, look like ogre magi, maybe. They look similar to Zogel, although they are pretty varied as a as a species. Yeah, hey, a couple of Zogel's girlfriends are down here. <laughs> Okay. They do uh, look like they have a defensive posture. Um, like they get a bunch of ready actions, or yeah, they got a bunch of ready actions. Uh, you also see, because uh, you are just within range, and you are a ghost, a very large excavated black corner. Um, it looks like a, like an obsidian brick or a piece of wall. It is. In... Is this the hammer? A weird, very smooth face piece of a metallic-looking substance that is very sharp and well-formed and not pitted. Because the the drawing had a had this in it, right? Yep. Uh, I think the hammer's down here. Is what he says in the telepathic bond. Huh. I wonder how I could ruin their day. <laughs> Look at those spells. <laughs> Who looks possessable? Uh, define possessable. <laughs> Who looks like they have a derp will save? <laughs> uh, well, likely has a derp will save. Maybe has a derp will save. 
Definitely has a derp will save. Will saves are probably okay based off of what you know of like uh, um, Zogel. Um, you got the sense from fighting them before. This was a barbarian of some sort. This is an alchemist barbarian. These were rogues. Like you, you get All right. That so this sense. this Grimlock ambusher six. Los is gonna cast uh, possession and attempt to possess the Grimlock. Yeah, see, they're not raging because they're readying. So okay. Uh, the DC on the possession is 25, we'll save. Okay, let me grab the... Uh... And given that I don't have a body, means I, I just go into it. This is, this, <laughs> this is my no. <laughs> I am the captain no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Alright. But you still have to be within 100 feet of me, 130 feet now? Oh wait, they don't have eyes. Never mind. We're gonna we're gonna do one of the onis. Oh. <laughs> you, you like seeing? <laughs> yeah, I like seeing. We're gonna do Oni guard one over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me a second. It's a different page. Uh, and I can't see. <laughs> if they want to watch a guard just coup de gras itself, that's fine too. <laughs> Alright, um... Is this a fear effect? No, it is a necromancy spell. Twenty-six? Boo! Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> there was also a crack SR, I forgot to... Oh, okay, yeah. let, let, me, let me do the SR to see. Uh, boo. Um... <laughs> 22 you barely you barely broke his arm okay so they probably know something happened yeah 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 this is uh let's uh i, well, I don't know if it's, uh, let's get the initiative rolling we'll need one anyway okay um, um i'm gonna remove you need to add a bunch of things or have you i do uh i need I need Why, why does Mog have a temp of plus four to his initiative or I don't know. Don't know. Okay. Uh Good Hope, however, still running. One sec. That would have been a fun saver B factor. It would have been, it would have been pretty interesting. I, yeah. I, 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 I don't disagree with this. <laughs> Alright. The int of a plus 10 base. Yes, plus 8 base. Fights where there will be lots of scrolling for me. Uh, what I should do is use the snipping tool to copy one of the stat blocks into something that I can use easily. Yeah, we need we need to not spend our turns going through this mush. This feels like a bad time. <laughs> That's a, yeah, you uh, Retreat is an option, at least for a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, the tech and centipedes are dead. Um, destroyers. Oh, the uh, ambushers. Yeah. to rock. You want random numbers? Yes, please. Okay. And I'm going to get the ogre guards on my snippy tool. Alright, first to go are the creepers. Uh, 
first skill are the creepers. Okay. The creepers. There we go. I think they're repositioning slightly. They, they, they likely Nutrition. heard some spell casting. Possession has a verbal somatic yeah, component. They, they know something happened, but they can't see a thing, a foe to attack. Snip, snip this. You. Apologies to stay my the character sheets in a place where I can actually use oh, them. Oh, Los is next. You can try it again. So they're they're adjusting their hides and their readies okay. as they're moving around the room. Uh, yeah, Los is saying we we should probably teleport down here. I know it's a trap, but uh, I'm gonna try to screw them up in a uh, in a little bit. Okay, um, that's the creepers. They have ready actions. Uh, Thank you, Los. Los will attempt to possession again. Okay. It's a fifth level spell. spell. Yeah, let's let's crack us our You can do it, sir. Twenty three. Cracks us are. DC twenty five. Damn it. Oh, charisma plus eleven. It's DC twenty six, but it doesn't doesn't help uh, on either of them. I did not update my DCs. Okay. How many times I got to tell about this, buddy? <clears throat> okay. That, and Cog dies. Somebody. That was uh, <laughs> two actions, and his third action, he returns to the pot. Returns to his funeral urn. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Returns to the funeral urn. Rip his ghost. Is, is play with Lowe's in the urn. Yeah. It will just delay until uh, Lowe's basically tells him to go. Okay. There's the sound of of some like yelling and things being thrown. Dee Dee. <laughs> Are we going down there? Oh yes. Uh, it sounds like Lowe's is um. Chaga taps his forehead. It sounds like Los is having fun with them down there. We should uh, gather up in a uh, teleportation formation. Where is Dugan? Dugan is <laughs> has snuck down there with um, Crackle. Captain, I sure there's no other way. <laughs> He's a dwarf. Are you sure there's no other way, Captain? <laughs> I've been Scottish in a while. <laughs> Chaka blinks. He wasn't expecting that accent. Uh, well, all I'm telling you is, it took me a while to get down here. Los is saying there's an awful lot of them. We shouldn't go down there alone, and that Zogel and Mog will never fit. Also, oh, I'll fit. I'll likely not fit. Z Zogel says, uh, "I can fit. I can turn to smoke." So, everyone get ready. We're going to be in a very dangerous place in a moment. Okay. Chaga can take four. Okay, Grackle and Dugan go back upstairs, I guess. The other way is we just wait for the spells to run out and go down there later. Uh... It's not Dugan and Grackle's turn. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, DD, D D I think, is going to restart Bard's song. I have a question for you. And if and if we're going down there, she's going to cast haste. Uh, I have a very interesting question. Why don't we... Um, I mean, you know magic, but it seems that this huge well of water is very close to where they are, isn't it? Can't we just make a hole and have it drown them all out? I'm not sure where to make the hole. It's a good uh, idea. Good. Lost. 
does this make sense to you? Do you think it's doable? Uh, don't know where to make the hole. They're all agitated at this point. Bart song. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> bless. We're going to have to put Bless back up on. Give me a moment. Okay, Dugan Schmurf. Uh, Dugan comes flying back up. Don't, don't fucking leave me out of this. I burns. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I uh, just look and see uh, divine power is there. Decide you're going to have to take the others. Los is describing how many feet over, like down and over, this area is. Uh, mirror image is gone. Or is it still going? Uh, mirror images would still be up unless you cast it from a wand of some sort. Mm -hmm. About three uh, minutes of total has gone by. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay, so we need how, who wants bless weapon? Maybe we'll, we'll say five minutes because of the under dark exploration a bit. Bless weapon. Who needs it? Where's Mort? Mort's playing around with disease Mort's, stone. Mort's effectively praying right now, <laughs> getting his mythic rank. All right, so whoever needs this would be <clears throat> Grackle. He's being gross. <laughs> Grackle Los. Los is in the can. Just do it to yourself. Uh, Desaad, you're going to teleport the others? Not a problem. Wait, sorry. Uh. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot about this. All right. Not, not a problem, Captain. So, I'll, so, fix I'll fix it. Sulfur is putting his it. hand out towards the casters for, like, one of them is bringing me down. Yeah. I don't know which one. That's Yeah, just if you go over there and you can get Grackle and Mog or Zogel. Um, yeah. one, two, why don't you take your guy? I'll take my guy. No, Mog's not going to... We're not going to have time to make him small. So Mog is going to go down and, and attack the... Uh, uh, one, two, the mushroom three. Things. I can see. One more! One <laughs> more! <laughs> okay, uh, one more. Now we're good. Uh, Chaga can take four. Okay, so Grackle, you cast it, you're pulling out the wand and casting? Uh, Grackle is gonna do uh, two castings from his wand. You pull out the wand and you cast. We're in rounds, dude. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, uh, bless. So you'll have a wand and a sword. In your hands. Got it. Okay. Uh, uh, you know what? It's not even worth it. No. Grackle came running up out of the shaft, like, up out of the shaft, and then maybe had a wand in his hand. He's, he, it hasn't been cast yet. Okay. So, Grackle still needs to cast. Uh, Zogel. <clears throat> He pulls his bow and he's ready to shoot. Okay. Uh, actually, he'll put out mirror images as well. You're also fully healed. That 11 damage is going. Got it. He'll, uh, Z Zogol will do uh, mirror images as well. Oh, go. Good ninja. Oh, and Moog, if you could go draw some of those creatures towards you and have fun. Oh, ogre. And Moog's going to hop down the shaft with the... 40 feet down. He's still got movement left. Does he see the the mushroom things? I forgot to put the spores on the initiative because I'm a ding-dong. Give me a second. Uh, roar! Roar! He's, he's, what's his base perception? He's making noise because he's trying to, like... He's trying to draw people towards yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, his perception is 17. Uh, plus 17? Uh... Once he starts raging, it gets three higher because he can pinpoint invisible creatures while raging. Okay, you suspect there's one here, but you can't see this one from Rage Metal. Okay, so he'll continue moving, and then he'll attack that thing. And the spores will just go at the end of the round. I don't know, what are their ACs? Uh, they are AC 20. 
Okay, so just don't roll ones on his primary attacks. Brrr. He squishes the thing a couple of times. Uh, he gets off a rend. Okay. Uh, Are you hitting it with slashing or piercing? Yeah, these are his claws. Yeah. Okay, it poofs out gouts of poisonous psychedelic gas. Does our life bubble protect us? It does. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wisdom poison damage. <laughs> wisdom damage. <Ooh. laughs> uh, how many points does this thing have? Because uh, we're, we're talking. Uh, it has a hundred and oh. twenty. All right, so we need we need to roll. Two uh, d six yeah. plus thirteen plus thirteen <laughs> plus uh, nine plus nine. We did put up our spells, so another six. Didi's Bard song is pimp. Uh, rage. And the D6 on the uh, rend. Nice. And now the rend damage, which it doesn't have power attack. But the rend damage does have all the spell bonuses on it, right? Uh, yes. Okay. One of you put on a haste. Uh, I haven't actually put the spell bonuses because it's not a separate attack. I don't know about that. I've always, like, like whenever I calculate it, for me it's just strength plus whatever. It's not like a bard song and all that. Okay. Um, no 97 damage. 97? Very significant damage. The thing is, like, waking up, it doesn't seem to be perturbed. Uh, did you bite it at all? No. Okay. Let me know when you bite it. Uh, he's using his claws. He doesn't want to stick any of these things in his mouth. <laughs> uh, and then his tertiary attack uh, at minus... Is it a bite? <laughs> it is not a bite. It's another claw. It's also don't roll a one territory uh, yep. critical threat in a future Can't level. No. Okay. Uh, 13 plus 2 plus 6 plus... Six. 32 damage. Uh... 32 damage destroys it. Or it's incapacitated. Tossing! Uh, he yells back to the others. Uh, uh, he's raging and throwing the thing around. <laughs> he's throwing a shit fit. <laughs> he's, try, he's trying to. Come, get me! <laughs> Zero ranks bluff. <laughs> Chaga. Arm to destruction! <laughs> Um, is everyone ready to go down there? I got my bow. We do need to haste up. Uh, Dee Dee did it on her turn. Alright. Good. Sweet. Mm. Alright. Dee Dee readied until Dugan and Grackle ran upstairs to get the haste spell. And, like, it, it's going. Yeah. Uh, Chaga, do we want one more round of buffing up here, or do we want to just go down there? Spell's blazing. I'm good to go. I don't know about you guys. Uh, Dugan's invisible, so I am ready. Fire burns. All right. Uh, Chaga will teleport these four. Um, Where's more? As <laughs> as close to this hammer thing that that Los described, like he described in, and it went okay uh, forty five feet deep. So we're trying to we're trying to be over here. All right, uh, give me a D8 and a D4. We'll see where we end up focused. I'm glad it's not a D100. <laughs> uh, seven and two. Okay, you're, 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 you're really mushed in the corner. <laughs> you're, you're as in the corner as you can be. Um, here, I'll unplug a little bit more. <laughs> Does Dee Dee go into a safe space, or is she in... Uh, you're small enough to actually be in the same space, so okay. you just... You're just... Okay, um, there's some ready actions <laughs> that are going off, um, particularly from the uh, the ogre guards. Uh, yeah, he, Los, it sounded like screwed up some of their ready actions uh, in his possession attempt. So he he did, as in okay. some of them like ran and ran forward and did this sort of thing. Okay. The ones that had their initiative in this initiative mod got a chance to re-ready their actions. Cool. 
so, uh, does anybody have a melee weapon? Who's threatening this one? And can see invisible things. Um, dee has got her bow out. capra has got her bow out. Dugan makes weapons float around. Well, he has to use an action to do it. Yeah, and Chaga's got a weapon in his hand, but he's too far away. So I don't. I think the answer is no. Okay. Uh, the two ogre guards with big lightning-infused bows are going to try to kill someone. Uh, I, they're not really coordinating amongst each other. They're they were kind of expecting. They are somewhat shocked by the the vector with which you've chosen to victor in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they did look like they were defending that spot in particular. Um. Uh, okay. So they see. They have the ability to see you. They do have the ability to see Dugan. It was a teleport in, so he's not, like, hiding yet. Um, so I think it's one, two, three, four, five. It's just in the order they're there. Who's uh, one? Uh, it's starting on the top and working its way down. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh. Sulfur and Capra. Apparently, I don't like me. <laughs> it's, the, it's the classic DM fights his own. It's the DM out murdering somebody unfairly. I'm going to do it to myself. <laughs> All right, there's two rapid shots with many shots on the first arrows being loosed. No, oh, no. <laughs> Archers. Oh, no. Um, wait, you guys have you guys have uh, arrow? What's it called? Protection from arrows up. They they have magic bows. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Uh, so uh, plus twenty six. These are the readied actions, right? With point blank, yeah, it's the ready ready rapid shot. At, at, at least it's not a full round. AC forty, AC thirty eight against uh, sulfur. Uh, and sulfur's flat footed because he can't see invisible things. Uh, AC 36 and AC 28 against Capra. I don't think that hits Capra. I think Sulfur just got blasted, though. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, Sul uh, Capra did not get hit. Uh, Sulfur has an AC of 32 becomes 33. Five becomes thirty-five. Haste. Flat-footed. Uh, and there's an additional plus two to hit. Okay. Uh, do they so, turn visible? Uh, they do turn visible. Nice. Um, okay, so Capra is about to eat eat all of it. No, sulfur. Capra, sorry, sorry sulfur. Um, okay, so the many shots, uh, you're resistant to the electricity, so that's a good thing. Duck, you um, dumb lizard! Duck! You <laughs> 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 uh, even see them coming! <laughs> 45 damage from the many shot. Uh, yeah, this is, this is the thing about... We know it's an ambush. We spring the ambush anyways. I knew it. <laughs> this is like, you only play this game when you have healers in your party. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you duck? 28 damage on the next arrow. Stupid wizard. We'll be there a second. I have a... Just don't touch it. <laughs> don't pull them out. <laughs> arrow burns. <laughs> Arrow burns. Arrow burns. <laughs> the magic it does nothing. <laughs> All right, so that's seventy-three damage on sulfur. Uh, his temporary hit points from his other spell wore off before you had a chance to use them. It's not a complaint; it's just a statement of fact. And sulfur, I believe, is well through bloodied. Um. Okay, uh, that was the one ready that was maintained. Through the actions of Los. 
the Grimlocks did something. Oh, no, there was one other one. Um, uh, but you can't see, so that's okay. Uh, right. The Capra. No, it's the rest of Chaga's turn. Oh, sorry, the rest of Chaga's turn. Uh, he's gonna quicken Ill Omen, this uh, this big lady in the middle that Lo says was in charge. Okay. Is is it a lady? I'm not sure. Uh, it's... it is a lady. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is yeah. a, not the most ladylike lady, but it is a lady. Uh, Ill Omen, I believe, has a SR check. I don't know if we're rolling that or not. Uh, it is uh, the creature with SR. He is. All right, Chaga gets a plus uh, three on this roll. They, it is an outsider. Yeah, yeah. We, already, we already went through. I'm just going to glance again at Good Hope out of the hope that... Ah, no, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I want a plus two. Oh, I found a spell. It's called Sure Casting. It's like True Strike, but for SR, it gives you a plus five to your SR checks. Guess what all the casters are going to be taking as their first level spell or figure out a way to, to, to roll that in. Next downtime, you're going to see yeah, a lot yeah. of Sure Casting. Um, or Quicken Sure Casting and then a spell. Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to double check that Ill Omen does have SR. I'm pretty sure it does. It is also an enchantment compulsion curse mind affecting if that, if there's any sort of... Uh... Okay. And Chaga's roll, he's a 13th level caster. And he gets plus 3 for favored enemy against outsiders. He rolls a 20 on his SR check. That sucks. He does have surges, so I don't know if he's uh, within he surge. failed rate. by 8. Mm. Okay. Um, all right. Just burning through the 5th level slots. All right, now Chuck is done. He, he does have a ready haste attack. Okay. Oblig obligatory combat. Just, I, I am doing my thing. <clears throat> all right. Capra. Oh, this thing's gonna die! Why'd you pick on somebody your own size, Tubby? <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is the one who just basically yep. skewered over into the wall. This thing's gonna die, <laughs> and we gotta get some meat between us and those Grimlocks. <laughs> the sod, where are you, you, you coward? <laughs> He's yelling at the tall back of the sod. <laughs> you shouldn't have went there so fast. <laughs> You the one that went too fast. <laughs> You're a fucking coward. <laughs> You're a coward, you bastard. <laughs> Natural one. Oh, come on, Capra. Digging winces at Capra's bow. Bow sound. When a hit... Hits... So that's going to be such a target. <laughs> it's, um, it's a mini shot, hit, hit, and then the uh, last attack for the round. Go on. Capra's going to surge. Oh, oh, hold hold on. You, uh, Adam, you do have a fortune point. Does two put you within... Uh, I will keep that in case I need it. Okay. Uh, you need three, don't you? Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> uh, it's Capra's against us, the enemies are against us. Everybody's against us! <laughs> Alright, so, um, those two elements don't work in the quantities being produced. Frost does gravity bow is still on um so the first arrow does 3d6 plus sorry it's uh 3d6 plus 23 
plus 8 plus 3d6 plus 23 plus 8 plus 3d6 plus 23 plus 8. So many shot. The second hit and the third hit. He's still going to do over 100 damage, I'm guessing. Uh, he does 157 <laughs> damage. Nice. Uh, the being being blasted currently uh, is bloodied. Oh no, they're Elden Ring uh, encounters. <laughs> it's going to make us grind. <laughs> He's about to check. Dave, Dave. Uh, okay. Uh, it looks like its flesh is re -knitting. Uh, and the fire and acid did not did nothing. Hmm. Ambushers. I don't like these things. They yell. Uh, this one is moving forward and is trying to beat Capra in the face. This one can't reach Capra, but it can reach Dee Dee. <laughs> I just want the face. <laughs> My AC is in the twenties. Oh, <laughs> oh no, no, she's she's got an AC of thirty uh, four. Okay, this one is moving in and attacking a somebody, and this one can't reach. Can't. <laughs> just there and yelling. <laughs> oh my. Sir, we're kind of in a jam here, sir. <laughs> yes, do <you> sod. <laughs> Get in here. <laughs> and we're describing this area to do sod. <laughs> in the the Charge! One, the one against Capra is a vital strike. The one against Dee is a vital strike. This mm. one moved too much. It can't vital strike. This one... It has a ready if somebody's moving forward. Okay. Uh, they can see invisible things, um, and are really mad at everything. Uh, all right. Mm. Dugan's Heidi might be working against them, though, right? Uh, once he gets a chance to act, because he can't be hiding from when you teleport into a place, you have to I see. do an action to actually got it, like be behind the thing. Did we skip Dugan's turn then? No, he flew up and and, and... he flew up and joined the group. Right. And... Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So uh, the one who's trying to vital strike Capra out of existence. AC fifty three. slugfest in here this is this is actually very very bad mm -hmm. so it's 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 almost we we leave yeah, well you teleport it down you're like you know what this sucks <laughs> <Teleport away>. <laughs> right <laughs> uh, uh all right so the uh improved vital strike is 96 plus let's see 30 This is a hard nut. Uh, 60 damage, minus 2 for DR. Uh, oh, mirror images. Wait a second. No, they're... No, no, no mirror images. Correct. You are correct. Um, the This one is going up against DD. They see 41. Give me a second. She's got bark skin plus four. All right, Dee's AC. It's been a while since she's been attacked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she has no natural. Res what? Oh, because she wears that amulet that keeps her immune to disease. That's that's right. Okay, so her AC is. 32 normally, 36 with the bark skin, 
with the shield spell, the delta is plus one is 37, and with the haste, it's 38. Oh, what's your DR? Didi's DR is cold iron 10. Good. He takes 50 damage after DR. Okay, Didi is not bloodied by that. Ow! She hasn't been injured in a long time. I think that's more damage than she's taken all campaign. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you missed it. Okay, this one is doing the D five. Uh, it's pounding on Didi. <sighs> Natural one. Yes, thanks. AC forty four would have hit. <laughs> hit. These are the ambushers. Crazed looks. Mort is off <laughs> making Mort sculptures. Uh, Desaad. Uh, he's gonna cast haste. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Captain. Here we go. <laughs> Teleport. Boom. Haste is already running. Yeah. I know. Teleport. Boom. Okay. Where are you? Where are you aiming? Wherever the hell the saw, um, uh, be over here somewhere, like down. So it would be somewhere around here. Okay, give me a D eight and a D four from the place where I think you're aiming. Okay, you. Is anybody in there really small? No, you're all big suckers. So you, you basically, you end up in this mess and you get shunted this way. Um, so you kind of end up where you wanted to be in the first place. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Are you firing guns in melee? Uh, let's see. We're this, huh? Damn it! Ah, uh, you son of a bitch, Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> Your snake man is hurt. Dee Dee's bleeding her own blood. Capra's been blasted. Although he looks like he could take a, he could take a little bit more beating. <clears throat> okay. The sod's going to... Uh... I could help you. I could I could throw up a wall of force uh, right through here somewhere. Zogol? Does Zogol mm -hmm. have seen visibility? Uh, should? A sec. I think, I think I put my last casting on him. Yeah, he does. Okay, in the southern portion of this room, any second... There is a very large-looking beastie with other beasties clinging on, moving as a group. Oh, uh, Grackle. <laughs> hey, uh, we got a problem, Captain. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm now going to, for the token, it's a range right to front, but there is basically four, like, it, this large creature is sharing a space with four creatures, and they're, like, moving as one. This is pretty bad, Captain. Yeah. There's a big thing over there. It's not killing things, so we're getting out of here. Uh, okay. Uh, the sod's going to turn into a... Uh... You cast a spell. Two actions. Yeah. I'll move a action. And a, action. and a move action or a, another attack. Yeah, he's going to have to... you're currently a dwarf. Mm Move action, dragon, gives him actually better AC. A medium dragon or a big one? Um, yeah. Well, hey, you're, I'm just looking at I can't face. step. I can't grow into a side. I can't grow into this. I have to still continue my... Do you have a free space. runner shirt? A quick runner shirt? Yeah, I do. Then you could step and then... If oh, you, if, step if, and if, grow. If, if you can grow as a move action, and then you wouldn't get a haste I do, there. yeah. So yeah, step, you, I I lose my haste attack when I use the attack. quick runner. Mm -hmm. You get the AC for being big. 
Yeah. Okay. I I, I become a I, I take the size of a large dragon. Uh, size, and that that's all my actions. We really need Mort down here. Yes, we do. Don't worry, Dee Dee will learn. <laughs> Karma this, is, this this is this is way more meat. All right. Ogria. So you're protected from electricity. We know this because the arrows didn't do any shocky damage when they got blasted in. There's this impudent little thing. And there's, a, and there's a. Ogria is looking interestingly at Sogol. Who? Sogol. Ogria, yeah, yeah. Hands off, he's my follower. <laughs> I paid XP for this guy. <laughs> Mort will play bongos on our skulls after we TPK here. This is not looking good. <laughs> oh, no, uh, like this round we need to start putting down. No, I, they, those those big Grimlocks that are getting through our our, our, our mirror images uh, are like the problem. worst. Tell me why you fight for them. Son, tell me why do you betray your kind? There's glory to be had. A new order is being created. This one is my true master. The real warrior. <laughs> kind of like, keep it down. <laughs> Stop bringing me attention, damn it. <laughs> Hit him every, every fight. He is no match for he who walks upon iron. Uh, Grackle, this person's dismissive nature of you is truly offensive to your mythically empowered core. We're going to mythically empower her. Okay, she's readying in action. Ready as much as you want. Cast with your hands cut off. <laughs> they grow back. Uh, all right. <laughs> there's an AOL Moog there. is having a fight <laughs> yeah. against the fun guy. <laughs> Moog um, slashes at that thing that moves in. Okay. Didn't, uh... There's one fungus that makes its way this way towards the noise. It puts its hands up as it reaches the edge. I don't know. Not I was certain what that. Is. All right. It gets a backhanded slash for 33 damage. Okay. And your weapons do do slashing. Yep. Okay. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, attacks as they're trying to. Uh, thump their way into you and like little poofs are going with their attacks as they're like clawing at you and little bits are breaking off trying to like penetrate your skin <laughs> AC 32, AC 18, AC 24 nope uh, and when you're hitting them there's these little poofs that you, your spell just keeps knocked away uh, you're, you're you're distracting uh, all right. The creepers. Uh, oh, so they had ready actions. Apparently, they just yeah. Chaga saying to, uh, I think we really need to um, abort and go get Mort. One moment. Oh, yeah, I can't hear you. <laughs> I, uh, it was Dugan, Los, Capra. I think Grackle's in it. 
Right. Jack was not in it. He's not in it. The side is. The is. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it, it, Chaga's contemplating aborting. This is not. This is not the right. Los jacket. did not accurately represent the problem that was in this room. <laughs> uh, he also, he also didn't see this asshole. There's some no. other asshole to the south. And, yeah. There's a bunch of darts being shot out. They're being shot at. So. Uh... <clears throat> These two are actually in range to get sneaks. These ones are too far away, so I think they're actually just repositioning in. None of these guys are sneakable. Yeah, this is not how we saw this. By their level. Yeah, Zogel is not a frontline. Chaga player. cloud killing uh, the room a couple of times before before going in might be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, there's a couple of... Uh, Attacks being made with little poison darts. Uh, I want to get the guys in the back. They're both being shot at Capra because apparently screw Capra. <laughs> um, the uh, Capra's DR is probably Capra. <laughs> the Capra does not have uncanny dodge though, so he's going to catch one of the eye. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, uh, AC 27 is a miss. AC 38 is a hit. Uh, let me just confirm that he is a fighter bird, so he has no uncanny dodge. Who shot? Uh, it's these little creeper dudes. Little, 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 little hidden creeper dude. We can't see them? Uh, I, so the people who could take an AOO, but to, oh, they're, they're not provoking AOOs with their attack. Um, oh, okay. Uh, one plus, sorry, I have to do another order. Did Capra see them when we arrived? That's the... That's the real question. Give me a, do a, a group perception check. Plus two uh, with uh, Good Hope. 33. No, he, Capra did not see them. Um, would blind sight help? Do I believe the sod gets that? Uh, the sod would know they're there with blind sight. Confirming. It's... Um, I don't believe dragons get blind sight, but they get blind sense, which means you know they're there, but you, they're still hidden. Uh, they have forty-six sneak attack. So sixteen damage becomes twelve damage, and. There's a poison save that we're currently got a delay poison running. So mm -hmm. I'll just make a note of there is a poison. There is a brain. What's it called? Brain buzz, brain bleed, blood brain. Blood brain poison. <laughs> uh, okay, the other one's repositioned. Sneaking their way in. Uh, these two in front are currently visible. Right? As in, they're they're not hiding right now. They attack, or they're hiding. They're just like sniping, but they're not doing it well enough to actually hide from people. Uh, of your adventuring caliber, Los. Okay, Los is going to come out of the urn up. Okay. Like directly above Grackle. Okay. Ah, what's going on here? Oops. <laughs> He's right above Grackle. No, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, move action and get out. Don't you know how to add? <laughs> He's going to cast, which I believe is a swift action, Dimensional Blade. Oh. What are you doing, buddy? That's a swift action spell. <laughs> Makes everything touch attacks. <laughs> it makes your blade like infinitely thin. <laughs> it becomes two dimensional. I think it lasts until the end of my next round. So it certainly does. Uh, I think. Oh, is it the end of? I believe it lasts one round. 
I don't think you get two rounds of attacks with it normally. Duration, one round. Okay, that's fine. All your AOs and stuff would have it though, for sure. Alright, Los is going to attack Origa. Okay. Let me just check his mythic point count. He's going to burn a mythic point to burn a fourth level spell to uh, to, to Mage Striker. Okay. Ah! The blade goes super thin. Ah! Um, she doesn't like you? Let's see. The ready to action is not triggered by your this stuff? <laughs> what do we think? Cold, Ahmed? Just out of a random... Um... I'd go with acid, personally. Acid? Okay. Is there a lot of acid in here? There was a lot of water. We'll try acid. <laughs> yeah. Zogo shoots cold. <laughs> That's right. They shoot cold out of their... The Oni that we know. These are the Oni we know, we know. These are the Oni we know. Alright, so the dimensional mage strike... That she's getting fed. Mm -hmm. Hits AC 44. Okay, tastes, tastes lovely. Okay. Uh, the conductive rune goes off. She doesn't age. Uh, or does uh, she? He's an outsider, doesn't age. Though. Okay, alright. Boo. Um, or is this sturdy? Resist 30. Okay, from the, from the acid. They have they have regen acid or fire. As she, a, she takes precision damage. She certainly takes precision damage. All right. Are you flanking with? Uh, no, he's just talking? he's just hovering above you. Uh, but the first uh, but oh, the first attack precision. in the round she, is a sneak attack. Is. So she's not mythic. Nice. Mythic beings would not have that occur. Yep. I will spend the extra little bit of panache to do something. That's one way to... Just you went around stabbing people, seeing if your blade just happens to find a kidney. <laughs> oh, that guy must have been with me. <laughs> All right, we spend a panache to do six extra damage, and then we've got the spells running, uh, and I'll roll the acid separately. Oh, plus uh, 66 sneak. All right, so she gets stabbed initially for 62 damage. That bypasses all DR. Okay, that knocks off some temporary hit points and then gets into her. She has six bleed. Uh, she has regen. That is that. Well, actually, she doesn't. She might not have regen in the second here. Yep. So she has six bleed. She currently has fifty-eight damage. Six bleed. And she takes ten from the acid. So her Dis regen is off. So she bleed at least for a round. Yep. Okay, she, she looks very much like she doesn't like you, like everybody else who gets stabbed by you. <laughs> okay. On guard? On guard! And he will attack again. This is his uh, haste attack. Six, five. Second attack in the round, which is his last attack. And there's nothing special about this. We're, we're hoping for a crit. AC 37. Dimensional okay. blade. Eh, it's not going to do as much damage. It'll do some. That does thirty-one damage. Okay. Ninety-nine damage and six bleed after the temporary hit points. Uh, she looks very displeased with your existence. She's looking like Grackle might have been the source of the problem because it popped out of something on Grapp Grackle's back. <laughs> yep. Then Grippa pops out. He's going to oh, pop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's awesome. 
Uh, Grippa's just kind of mad, so I'm going to roll d9 to see what square it comes out. Or d8, it's... One, two, three. I'm going to go around in clockwise motion. So okay. it comes out in this goblin thing square. Okay. It's a ghost, so I think it could just, like, just hang out the there. Square. Yep. Uh, all right. So it is going it, to... It, it, entering the square provokes an AOO. The creature doesn't have a weapon with which it can hurt Grippa in its hands. Okay. It's holding a blowgun. It's going to attack... She's invisible, right? She is invisible. Okay, it can't uh, see Auriga. Shit. Life sense? Oh, there it is. No, I, that life sense is a, a higher level. It, it is a ghost power. It just uh, doesn't have it. Gotcha. Hmm. And life sight would be the one you want. I think he's just going to attack this Grimlock ambusher. He's going to try to latch onto the thing. And uh, first attack. Make a big one, blood. Alright, uh, the ambushers have AC of 34. AC 40 hits. Yep. Sorry, it's AC 37. I forgot to take a minus off there. But it's fine. That yep, still hits. Uh, it's plus six. It's not sneaking with anything. Then their DR is two. Their DR is two. 21 points of damage. Okay, it does not like that. Uh, and we'll try to grab. It doesn't like that either. Uh, 42 in the CMB. You do grab it. Grab it by two. <laughs> and then it will do its... Um... <laughs> it, uh, so Grippa has a power called Positioning Attack. Once per day... I can move up to 30 feet uh, without provoking AOOs. Um, when I attack a creature, I have to end adjacent to the creature. So Grip is going to shift to here. Okay. Uh, I think you do provoke an AOO for entering the square. I think. Because it, it's... Like, uh, read the what what the, what's the power? Once per day, it's called positioning attack. A rogue with this talent uh, hits a creature with a melee attack. She can move up to thirty feet without provoking attacks of opportunity. The movement must end in a space adjacent to the creature hit with a melee attack. Have I just found out a way to freely enter someone's space? Because <laughs> that would be awesome. Because it is a move. Uh... I think because you're a ghost, I think the same thing would happen if you were, like, small. Like, you're also small enough to be in the space, right? Yep. Um, so, yeah. All right. I'm now I think you have. It's a once-per-day thing. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I think it's okay. Yeah. All right. I'm now flanking with Grackle. Yeah, and yes, I'm going to take are. my last attack of the round. I popped out. I, I hit and I grabbed. They and then... have uh, uncanny dodge and improved uncanny dodge. Oh, shit. Okay. But, but you are in this one space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so popped out as one, attacked and latched on. This is a this is a thing that just happens, which means I actually have two attacks left. Uh, haste and the other one. Plus seven is nine, so 30. Okay, so the second attack, AC 25. Uh, AC 25 is a miss. An AC twenty eight. Is a miss. Okay, so I'm grappling one of the ambushers. I he was trying he was trying to to flank or whatever. But... Yep, I was fighting like a beast. Um, okay, Grimlocks. Uh, well, okay, this one like punts this <laughs> punts this being back in the hall. <laughs> uh, it's keeping those. Coming out of their hole, 
Uh, they really don't like casters, and they don't like ghosts. They're highly superstitious people. Um, 